So the next topic in computer graphics is cathode ray tube. So now let's see what is this cathode ray tube. The topics that I'm going to cover in this video is what exactly the cathode ray tube is and what are the uh, components that are present in CRT. So this is very, very important. So we need to uh, understand what are the main components that are present in the CRT and the working of the CRT applications of CRT and finally the advantages and disadvantages of using the CRT monitor. So at the end of this video, you'll get a complete clarity on what exactly the cathode ray tube is. Okay. Now first have a look on what exactly the CRT is. The full form of CRT is C means cathode, R means ray, T means tube. So you all know that it is a cathode ray tube. If you take the computer graphics, so nowadays the computer graphics are playing a vital role in which areas in the data visualization, motion pictures, in all these fields, okay, this computer graphics is playing a vital role. The output device in a graphic system is what generally what where you are going to see the, uh, the result of the computer graphics that is a monitor, right? So it's a video monitor. Although many technologies are present. So nowadays so many technologies are uh, existence, okay? Uh, the operation of the video monitors is mostly based on the cathode ray tube design only. Even though a new technologies are established and new technologies are using but uh, most of the most of the uh, operations of video monitors are completely based on or based on the CRT design only. So that's why you need to understand what exactly this CRT is. Cathode ray tube, okay? It is a vacuum tube. It's generally like a vacuum tube, like this. Okay, you all know that a vacuum tube, right? So it is just like a vacuum tube where the images are produced from it. So here the images are produced. So this was displayed on the monitor so this is a monitor displays on the monitor where the images are produced from it when an electron beam strikes a phosphorescent surface so these are the electron beams whenever the electron beams uh, touches this phosphorescent surface an image is displayed on the screen the desktop computer displaces uses crts mo mostly whatever the desktop computers you are using so those monitors are all of cathode ray tube uh, design only it is similar to the picture tube in television receiver. So if you take your television, so whatever the televisions uh, uh, means all type of televisions or uh, in the television, a picture tube is there uh, because of that picture tube only you are able to see the multiple colors on the screen on the monitor. So this picture tube is made of, of uh, CRT mostly. CRT accelerates, modulates and deflects the electron beams onto the screen for creating image. So if you want to see an image on the screen, what the CRT is playing? The CRT is trying to accelerate and it's trying to modulate and it's trying to deflect the electron beams onto the screen. So for what? For creating the images. So if you see this picture, so this is a CRT display. So it's, if you observe it clearly, it looks like a vacuum tube, right or wrong? So see here, this is looks like a vacuum tube. Okay. So in CRT, the three rays, that is a red, green and blue. These three rays or emit from electron gun inside the tube falls on the phosphorus uh, screen. So that means here, electron beams are, that is a red, green and blue emits from electron. These uh, rays are uh, emit from the electron gun and they are hit into this phosphorus screen phosphorescent screen this is the phosphorescent screen so that displays an image with the help of million pixels million pixels so see here there is a cathode is there this is a cathode and this is if you see here this is a focus anode cathode is there anode is there and this one is the accelerating anodes and the deflection coils are present and this is an electron beam that is touching on the phosphorescent uh, screen Okay, so these are all the different components. Now let's have a look on what exactly the components of the CRT. Okay, if you understand the components of CRT, then easily you can understand the working condition of the CRT. First is electron gun. So here this, there is an electron gun here. This is an electron gun present here. Okay, so electron gun is the main sources of the electronic beams. So with... Uh, through the electron gun only the electron beams are generated because these electron beams are touching the phosphorus uh, screen then only the image is going to be displayed. 
so from where these uh, uh, electron beams are coming with the help of electronic gun so electronic gun is the main uh, sources of electronic beams it consists of a heated metal cathode and control grid in the picture if you see here this is a heated metal metal cathode so when this metal cathode is heated and a control grid uh, then the electron beams are generated electrons are emitted from the cathode surface whenever we are trying to heat that uh, metal cathode and the control grid electrons are emitted from cathode surface the amount of light emitted by the phosphorus screen is completely depends upon the number of electrons how many electrons that are striking on the screen that is going to be displayed the brightness that is the light emitted because of this reason we are able to control the brightness of a display by changing the voltage on the control grid whenever if you change the voltage on the control grid means the heating levels if you try to heat more then the brightness is increased and that will be the electron beams are touching the phosphorus screen the image can be appeared uh, uh, very bright so that can be controlled by changing the voltage on the control grid so what you understand from the first main component is the electronic gun it is a main sources of generating the electronic beams when the cathode uh, control grid is heated the electrons emitted from the cathode surface and that uh, electron beams are hitting the phosphorus screen okay so that the image is produced so by seeing all this what you understand the main component is the electronic uh, gun so it is emitting the electronic beams next is accelerating system so accelerating system is also called as a focus system we usually call it as focus system the name itself it is saying that if you want a clear focusing clear picture this accelerating system is playing a vital role so where is the accelerating this is the accelerating see here in the diagram if you clearly observe this is the accelerating nodes so here this one and this one is the accelerating node so what is the role of this accelerating node it is used to produce a clear picture by focus the beams of electrons because when the electron gun is uh, emitting the electron electronic beams okay electrons are produced from the electronic uh, gun those electrons are discarded I mean discarded like uh, it uh, not in a uh, clear position it's so randomly it will be completely uh, disturbed manner so because of this accelerating system the it focus the beam of the electrons so, so the beam of the electron is going to be focused see here this is a focusing a, a, in a particular line a beam is focusing because of the accelerating nodes so uh, it produce a clear picture by focus the beam of electrons without this focusing system suppose a focusing system is not there then what happened the electrons are going to ripple each other that is what i am saying so it will be coming in a random fashion and it will be like a disturbed all electrons are not in a proper sequence and it will be like a disturbed going to ripple each other and the beam would uh, spread out it's completely spread out so if the accelerating system is there the beams will be flow in a particular direction in a, okay so uh, and the image will be appeared on the phosphorus screen and a uh, clear picture is appear there are two systems present inside the focusing system one is the electrostatic system and magnetic system because of these two electrostatic and magnetic system the beam is producing uh, on the screen okay it's a clear picture is present by the focusing the beam because of this uh, uh, electrostatic system and magnetic system now coming to the deflection system so what is a deflection system okay accelerating is trying to uh, take the uh, that is the, whatever the spread beams are there okay spread out beams are there that will be uh, arranging in a, a particular focus beam so this deflection system is trying to move the electron beam up and down horizontal and vertical direction the deflection of an electron beam is controlled with electric fields or magnetic fields so that we had seen now okay because of the beam strikes at exact pixel so we are going to use pair of coils one is the horizontal deflection and another is the vertical deflection for finding x y coordinates on the screen the deflection plates used for controlling the path of the beam it will accelerate only in one direction remember it is accelerating in only in one direction because of this deflection system due to uniform electrostatic field which moves only in one direction so if you see in the picture these are the deflection these are the accelerator nodes 
So in the picture, these are the accelerated nodes and these are the deflection coils. So these two are the deflection coils. So what this deflection coil, it is trying to move this electron beam, okay, in a one direction, in one direction. So, because of this uh, uniform electrostatic field which moves only in one direction. And finally, the last one is the focus uh, phosphorus screen where the beams are emitted. It produces a bright spot when struck by a high volta uh, velocity electronic beam. The internal surface of the screen is coated with the phosphor. So, whatever the internal surface of this uh, tube here, this is the internal surface. So, this internal surface is coated with the phosphorus. Phosphor. Okay, so these are the different components of the CRT. So you have to remember that student. First is the electronic gun. This is the main uh, source of the electronic beams. Next is the accelerating system or the focusing system. Next is the deflection system and the phosphorus screen. Now coming to the working conditions of the CRT. So I think you get a clear picture how the electron beams are entering into that and how the accelerating uh, system is maintaining and how the deflection system is controlling the electron beam and those uh, beams are striking the phosphorus uh, coated screen then the image is going to be displayed so that is what we are discussing here in the working of the crt also the crt working is depends on the movement of the electron beam how the electron beams are moving okay the main components are the heated metal cathode and control grid only because of this that is the electron gun is emitting the electron beam electrons only because of the heated metal cathode and the control grid the heat is supplied to the cathode by passing current through the filament when electron gun connects it to the high voltage, whenever it connects to the high voltage, it generates an electronic beams of high intensity. The beam in it emits from the electron gun. So whenever the high voltage is given, okay, high, then high intensity of electron beams or emits from the electron gun passes through a pair of electrostatic and magnetic deflection coil. That is the accelerating system. That is what I am said just now. It's a focusing system or we call it as an accelerating system. So, a pair of electrostatic and magnetic deflection coils, it will pass us through this pair of uh, accelerating system. These are the responsible for the horizontal and vertical movement of the beam. Okay. This beam will, which falls on the screen and create a phosphorescence. So, this is what the working conditions of the CRT. Now, let's see the applications of the CRT in which areas we are using this cathode ray tube. One thing we are clearly know that we are going to use in the monitors and we are using in the computer, uh, sorry, uh, using the television systems and we are using the computer monitor. And it is used as a display device in the radars also. The CRT is more, uh, mainly used in the display devices and radar system. And cathode ray oscilloscopes. And it is used in the contrast sensitivity visual fields also. In the visual fields also, the CRT uh, is going to be used. Now coming to the advantages of the CRT. So what are the different advantages of using this CRT? CRT is suitable to any environment. Okay. Any resolution is possible without rescaling the images. And it has a faster response time is also faster in the CRT too. And it is less expensive. And CRT has no motion artifacts. So we had seen so many advantages. So then what are the disadvantages and now why the technology is moving? Through? Disadvantages, it has a geometric distortion is there. And screen regulation problem is there in the CRT. A screen regulation. Okay, so that has to be monitored regularly. So a screen regulation problems is there in CRT. Produce a lot of heat. We have to heat the filament. The more the heat you filament, the high voltage is applied and the electron beams are generated. So produce a lot of heat while heating this. Mm, big in size and occupies a lot of space. Obviously, because it's a vacuum tube, so the component, uh, this system requires a more space to handle the CRT tube. CRT consumes a lot of power. And it produces electromagnetic wave emissions which causes the health hazards. Okay, because of these high electromagnetic waves that are coming from the electron gun that which causes the health hazards. That means while we are watching the screen, so your eyes may be affected. So these are the disadvantages of the CRT. So I hope you get a clarity on what exactly the cathode ray tube is. Still, if you're facing any doubt, please let me know. Thank you.